Hi, and welcome to the demonstration of Digital Tiger. I'm going to show you today how you use the ScanSnap 1500M Macintosh version of the Fujitsu scanner to scan your paper files into PDF format and then load them into Google Docs. Please note that the ScanSnap 1500M is just one of many scanners that can be used to convert your paper to PDF format. The ScanSnap 1500M for Macintosh, and then there's available the 1500S, which is a Windows version of the same product. And then you could use any other scanner that would convert your paper into PDF format. So let's take a look as an example at the S1500M Fujitsu scanner. So what's, what's great about this scanner is it's the Fujitsu 1500M, this is for Mac, and there's the 1500S, which is for Windows, but they're basically the same scanner, it's really just the software that ships with them. But you can see how small this is, and you can also see that it's very simple. There's only two cords coming out of the back. One is for a USB connection, and the other is for power. That's that, and now the document is uh, completely uh, in electronic format. You can either save this copy in uh, Paper Tiger for backup, or if you're trying to go paperless, you can actually uh, dispose of the document, shred it, uh, etc. Now, what I want to show you is how you open it up, and in case you have a misfeed, how easy it is to uh, undo the jam. Basically, there's only uh, one place in there is two scanning. Uh, windows, but you open that little knob right there and open it up and pull the paper out and just start over. And you'll notice on the screen that you're seeing those documents come up. This happens to be a getting started with the Paper Tiger software document with uh, the data sheet. Um, and very, very easy, very intuitive. And then you'll notice it's actually taking that document, turning it into a searchable OCR document. Then I have a number of choices, as I'll point out to you. I could take it in this first option here, scan to a folder, which means I can put it on my desktop if I wanted to. I can scan it to email if I wanted to actually send this document on to someone via email. I can print the document. I can scan to Google, which I'll come back to in a second. That's what we're actually going to do. I could scan to Word if I wanted to manipulate the document in some way. I could scan to Excel, or I can put it into iPhone. I happen to be working on a Mac. Uh, the Windows version of the software which we use also and it works virtually identical. The Windows version seems to have a few more features uh, in some ways but it does exactly the same thing for our purposes. So uh, the option we're going to choose is the scan to Google. Now notice right below the icon is uh, a list of settings which it says what email address, what password you like to use, if I click here, I can convert to a searchable PDF, which means it'll actually OCR the document prior to sending it to Google. You may or may not want to do that um, on very large documents. You may want to have Google do it because you can bring it in and then Google can convert your documents to a searchable format as well. But it'll slow you down a little bit if you have a very fast computer, which we happen to have here. It'll be very quick. but. Uh, then I can save the scanned image, which means it'll make a copy of that exact same scanned image and put it on my desktop. So it'll basically save it to my desktop and put a copy in the cloud at the same time, which is pretty neat. The 
first file, I have a lot of files saved in Google uh, Docs, a lot of PDF files, but you'll notice this file here, if I click here, I can see a little thumbnail, and it says getting started with the Paper Tiger, which is the exact paperwork that I put into uh, the scanner. And what is really neat here is that this was a one-step process. I can then go in and I can uh, look at the document by clicking on it. It'll actually pull up the document and I can see in detail and I can change the formatting. I can look at it you know, in two abreast like this or I can look at it in a number of different ways and I can zero in on it. I can click on a particular page by clicking over here and I can do a number of things with this file. I can back out like this and see more, see all four or five pages. I can zero in, see two, see one, and so on. Um, and Google has continued to work on their interface, but this works very, very well. Then when I want to go back over here, I can see it. If I wanted to change the name, I simply right click on the right mouse. I can organize it into a particular collection. I can rename the file. I can mark it as viewed. I can make a Google Docs copy if I want to change the format to Google Docs. I can download the file at any time onto my desktop, which depending on the size is very quick. I can go over here and I can add descriptions to the document so I can easily you know, find it in, in different ways. So anything that's in your Google Docs, what the amazing thing is is that within Paper Tiger online, when you search on your paper, which will show you in a subsequent uh, uh, screencast, when you click on uh, Paper Tiger online, any file that you, any keywords you search on, you'll find both your paper and you'll find the Google documents. So let's just change the name here just to make it meaningful. And this would be, uh, we'll call it the Paper Tiger uh, Documents. So click there and you see this changed the title of the document. And if we OCR'd the documents, optical character recognition the documents, then uh, basically any content within the PDF would be searchable, not just the title. You can go in and upload files, large files. You can also, with Google, upload folders. So if you save everything locally, you want to put everything up into Google at the same time, uh, you can do that. And then Google will, uh, you don't have to use ScanSnap for using OCR because Google will OCR the first 10 pages automatically for you. But also want to point out while we're in here uh, how inexpensive the storage is on Google. It is absolutely the best deal there is out there. You can get 20 gigabyte of online storage on Google for five dollars per year. Per year. You can add uh, up to 80 gig for twenty dollars a year. 400 gig for a hundred dollars per year. And then for the power users out there, you can go up to 16 terabytes of storage, which is an enormous amount of storage. If you're doing PDFs, so an enormous amount of storage uh, for $4,000 a year, which sounds like a lot of money, but it is very inexpensive for 16 terabytes of online storage. Now, not many people will use that much, but even if you're using 80 gig, you're talking about $20 per year at, in current pricing. So you can get a whole terabyte for $256 per year. So it is an absolute value uh, for people running a business and so forth. Um, you can um, do a lot of different things with the document once you have it up. You can share this document. You can easily click here and share the document uh, with other people and let them look at it. If it's, uh, they can manipulate that document. They can add, uh, add things to it, whatever. Um, so you can see that Google is a very, very simple way to get your documents up into the cloud, get a good copy of it up there, and write straight from your scanner.